What's up guys, Axis here and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this inside Cinema 4D and Octane Render using the fog volume. Um, now this was inspired by In Life Thrill. Go and check him out, I've put him in the description. He did this first, I did not do this. I'm just showing you how to do it. Um, well, I don't know if he did it first, he's just the first person I saw that's done it. Okay, right, I'm clearing myself from all angles here. Um, and finally, I want to plug the Landscape Essentials Pack, which is 45% off until the date on screen. Go and check out the website for all the, the features, a bunch of renders, um, and detailing, all the stuff that comes with that. So yeah, go and grab that before the discount is over. So, first off, I need to switch this to one screen so you guys can see what's going on. And we're going to bring in a fog volume. So go to objects and fog volume. And basically, the idea here is to get the the highest quality. So basically, the lowest the lowest voxel size. Um, but we also want to have something that's visible. So we have to make it a decent size as well that you can actually see it. So 150 by 150 by 150 should work. You can also put this in a sphere if you want. Um, so if I go up here and is this working or is it the other way? I think it might be that way. And then if I hide it, there we go. See, so it works. Um, I don't think it works with any other objects, but the sphere works. So if you want to do that, then that's a possibility. Um, and we're going to put in here a noise just for a visual representation. And then I'm going to show you how to get the, the effect. So uh, I'm going to do uh, 1250 on the scale uh, and I'm also going to turn up the contrast a bit so you can actually tell the difference and I'm going to get a camera in here as well. Just going to do basically the scene in reverse for some reason and then we're going to bring in a line to spline. We're going to get a circle. Oh, they keep doing that. <laughs> uh, get a circle and then I'm going to rotate this. 45 degrees, not that 45, but this 45, not that 45, that 45, there we go, easy. Uh, and then we're going to get a null, so if we go to create object null, call that target, because that's what it is. And then we're going to put a target on our camera as well. Sorry, I've not used these menus in a while, let me, let me have a scour. There it is. So put that in there and we'll align this to a circle because I want to get the correct camera angle first, which I know sounds weird, but it's just because, you know, if I get a look that I like, then with a camera angle that doesn't work, then I'm going to be screwed. So yeah, that's why I'm doing that. And uh, now we're going to go and send this to the picture viewer. So click up here and we go, we got something looking quite ugly there. Uh, so I'm going to throw in a couple lights. So um, if you go to Objects, Octane Area Light, and if you hold Shift and Rotate, then you should be able to get a perfect 90 degree swivel. Go ahead and turn the visibility down, not completely, but pretty low. And also turn off camera visibility. And I'm also going to create another light by just control dragging, there we go. And then I'm going to rotate this back 90 degrees. And then we've got kind of a nice rim light going on there. I'm also going to turn up the sample rate, uh, just times it by 10. And I'm also going to bring in a HDRI. So we go to object and HDRI environment and turn the power down to zero. You can also get rid of this because you might get some errors if you're team, team rendering or if you're sending out takes, you'll get an error because They've put a file name in there that doesn't exist. Um, so now we've done that, I'm going to be showing you how to create this. So we go to medium and volume medium. I'm going to drag this out a little bit more so you guys can see it. And I'm going to drag down volume step length. And there we go. That's pretty much the base effect. Now I'm going to change the, I'm going to change the seed of the, the noise real quick. So it's on the front so you can get a better view of what's going on. So 
harder than I thought. Right, there we go. That's something. And I'm also going to turn up the density. So if I turn up the density, you see we get these um, the stepping effect because basically um, that, that's why we want to get the, the lowest voxel uh, count possible. Also, this weird um, scattering effect happens when you've got this at a really high value. So if you put this to a thousand, you won't see it. But uh, I mean, I kind of like the effect, so maybe I'll go like 3000. Yeah, you still kind of see it there, maybe 1500. Okay, and I'm just going to run through the settings here so you guys understand them. So we've got the absorption. Oh. Uh, so basically this is just going to be the colour of the volume, so if I turn this to a green, we're going to get a green volume. And I'm going to put this as white. Um, maybe not quite white, maybe 70% grey. And in the scattering, basically, uh, this is when like a light hits it, um, the color that you know that's dispersed along the object. Uh, this is this is what it will be. So there we've got a blue when the light hits it. It's not the entire volume; it's only where light hits it. So I just undo that actually. And then down here, uh, we have a mission. So this is just pretty self-explanatory. If we bring in a uh texture where is it texture emission should be able to emit i don't know if it will work because we've got such a dense volume but normally this would work maybe i'm doing something stupid but normally it will emit light that's nah, not emitting light Maybe it's because it doesn't have any uh, like density information or anything like that, like a normal VDB. But, you know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm just being stupid. But um, those uh, that's those settings. And then here, this is where we're going to be um, controlling the, the quality by. So basically, the lower, the better. And also in the, the renderer, this doesn't actually multiply it, this divides the number for some reason. So if you've got five um, and then you put two in here, then you're going to get two and a half. So, you know, if I render this out, it'll look better. Maybe if I, I'll just do it now. So, Octane render it. Yeah. So if I drag this down, you can see that the steps the steps are more, they're closer together, so it's a higher quality. And yeah, the lowest I could get this to go, um, I had this on one and I had the volume size on one point, oh wait, no, point three. Wait, I'll check. It was point one three, so it was quite low and it took a long time to, um, to like prepare the scene. So I'd recommend maybe point five at the lowest. Uh, if you do point 0.1, uh, just in my case, if I do point 0.1, my computer runs out of memory. So, yeah, have fun with that. Uh, and now we're going to do something with the noise in here. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't use octane noises, which doesn't make any sense because octane noise, from what I gather, is a 3D noise. Because um, you can transform it in 3D space. So, it doesn't make much sense. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll be updated. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to put this on the displaced vor, uh, Voronoi, never say that word, Voronoi, uh, which really just showcases this effect really well, I think. There's definitely other really nice noises, um, but this one's kind of the most obvious one to do, just because of like all the, um, all the kind of variations throughout the noise. Um, so I'm now going to mess around with like the high clip and stuff, so... My settings were like 70 and minus 30 and 77. Just to not waste your guys' time, that's what I did. So there we can see the effects really coming on now. Um and you kind of you kind of get that that effect, the kind of um what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of destroyed. Um decay, that's it. It it looks like it's decay. <laughs> So, yeah, now I'm going to reduce this to maybe two. Here we go, we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now one, don't crash. 
Okay, so one's working for me. Maybe I'll reduce the, oh, I'm getting a bit of lag now. Maybe I should put it back up just for tutorial sake. But it's really, it looks really good to like work in this resolution. It just isn't fun to work in this resolution. So maybe two is a, is kind of the happy median there. Cause it's not, you know, it doesn't look terrible, but it also makes, it does it, like it runs well. So if I turn that down, there we go. It's looking really nice now. It doesn't look overexposed. I kind of like the, the overexposed uh, one on the back, but if you increase this to too much, uh, a too high a value, it's going to kind of cut out and uh, cancel out the other light. So we don't want it to be too high. You can also add a colored light in here. So, you know, a red. It doesn't look that nice, actually. Uh, maybe if we add scattering on, a uh, different, like a different color of scattering on, it look nice. I mean, that doesn't look bad either. But I think black and white um, looks really nice on this. So in the camera settings, if you haven't uh, made an Octane camera, it is in Objects and Octane Camera. Or you can make a normal camera and then you can go into Cinema 4D Octane and Octane Camera Tag. There we go. So now we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and turn on Post Processing. This is really a hit or miss. I've been kind of, I don't really like the effect that much anymore. Uh, I kind of, I don't really like it because it kind of gets rid of all the nice um, details in the noise. But I mean, if you're using a lower quality one, then you might want to bump it up. So it kind of, it you can't really see. <laughs> so maybe like five will be fine. But to be honest, five doesn't really make much of a difference at all. So if I turn on the camera imager, I'm going to put this on linear, linear, and then turn this up. Linear is really either a really nice response or a really nasty one. So in this in this case, I don't really know. Maybe uh, number two on this one, I'm not gonna read out all those letters. But it's a really nice blue response. If we put this on neutral, it does nothing. So that's nice. But on some of the on some of the like and yeah, like the gold responses, neutral response will make it blue. So look like that, there we go. It's going blue. But on this one, the response is blue, so it doesn't do anything. Also, five. Five is really nice as well because it's kind of just like two, but a little less sharp. So, if, you know, you can mess around with it. It's totally up to you. Uh, and I'm going to move this over here a little bit. And then you can kind of see the side of it. I don't want to make it too obvious, though. I like how you, it, you can't really see much in this scene. I think it looks nice. I want to remove the backlight and then see. That's also really nice because it ever like the entire cube fades off. It's a really nice look. Um, there's a, a possibility you guys can't actually see this. It's probably really dark, but I'll bump this up just in case. Um, that's the kind of double-edged sword with this. Is that uh, if someone's looking at your stuff on a phone, they're going to be like, "What is that?" <laughs> Voice crack. I, I won't cut that out. <coughs> okay, so maybe bump this up a little bit. And now from here, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mess around with the um, the seed. Takes a while to update, but you know you can get something that looks quite nice by just messing around with the the seed. Also, please mess around with other noises. I'd love to see the effects that you guys could make. Um, cause the one that, uh, in life thrill used definitely isn't, I don't think it is Displace Noise or Displace Voronoi, but Displace Voronoi looks really good in my opinion. It definitely looks like an object from Houdini, but it's not. And that's what I was going for. <laughs> that one's nice. That one's probably the most, like, uh, dense amount of, uh, of noise that I've seen. I kind of like, like, the second one I got, but I don't want to go back and then not find it. I realized that I didn't like it as much as I did. Oh, all these are bad now. That one's kind of cool. I'm just gonna make a decision like the next one it's gonna be no okay it's not I 
I could have finished this tutorial like two minutes ago. Right, there we go. I'm going to stick with that. Um, I also kind of want that light back in. I like the rim light. And I also might raise it up a little bit so it catches some of the top. I think two lights is definitely uh, the easiest way to get something looking good. Just, just make sure they're rim lights because, you know, then they create nice highlights and whatnot. So now we've done that. Um, you can also add some some uh, DOF in here if you really want to. And the way I do that is I'll bring in a cube and then I'm going to uh, bring this to the point I want it to be focused on. Maybe turn this around. I want it to be focused on that little crevice there. I think that'll look really nice. Especially if I get all zoomed in, but also you don't want to get too zoomed in because um, you'll see all the imperfections, you know. So that will do. The sad thing is about the volume is that it treats the um, the focus treats it as a cube, just a normal cube, so you can't actually focus on it. So we're gonna have to do auto focus, and then if we do control middle click onto this cube, then we should have it focused correctly. So there we go, it's focused. Um, but this kind of gives the illusion that it's quite a small object. So if you want to make it kind of look a bit a, a bit bigger, then you're not going to want to do this. And if if, if you've uh, changed the DOF uh, focal length, make sure that you just zoom in using the focal length uh, option, because otherwise it's going to go out of focus and you're going to have to refocus it and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's about that's about right. Um, I also had the the voxels turned up. I mean the octaves, my bad. See if that looks right. I actually might like it if it's turned down. Oh, no, I don't. Four. Yeah, four is nice. All right, and then put this down to one or 0 0.5 or even 0 0.13 if you're that daring. Um, good luck. Uh, and make sure to check out the landscape essentials pack guys 45% off you cannot miss this and i'll see you in the next tutorial